Welcome to Totally Far Out. Today we continue our journey towards the bridge of the ship in an effort to find out what happened to the crew. This is Decrypt. Hey, I've been trying to reach you. Something is interrupting comms out of that ship. If you're seeing this, listen. We tried to locate the crew. We put out a bulletin at every system in this sector, but we came up empty. We traced the course of the tavern, and not a single vessel rendezvoused with it since it left Nagari. It looks like the crew never left the that ship. Viewed apparition was that I've requested Debt 2 to take over this investigation. This isn't a data ops mission anymore. Abort and head to the nearest airlock. There should be one by the bridge or down in the cargo bay. Somehow I have a feeling that we'll Listen, be going to the cargo hold. The there's airlock. something else. I've looked up records on this ship, and here's where things get really strange. It appears this isn't the first time there's been an incident with the crew missing it. Preeti, where are you? Come back, Preeti. Oh my god, suddenly there is a sense of urgency. I need to find an airlock and get out of this place. This incident has happened once before, if that's what I think she was about to say. So this is not the first crew which has disappeared. Was that the shower turning on by itself? Damn, that got me. Oh hell no, I need to get out of this place. This ship just became way too spooky. There's definitely a certain sense of urgency now. I can sense my nerves and I'm on the edge and I'm Let's say playing like a noob. If Manu isn't in the ship and Preeti is telling that the crew is still missing, so where are they? Are they all still in the ship or somewhere else? And these sightings, these apparitions, they are apparently getting dangerous. So far none of these sightings have affected me. I've seen them twice now. At least my health hasn't got affected. I don't know whether they are going to be harmful to me. Calm down, calm down, slowly back away from him, slowly back away from him. Oh, oh what was that man? 
Yeah, I think so. Running should be the. Oh, come on, man. So, yeah, apparently I can die in the game. Next time, I'm running like the Flash. Open, 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 quickly! <sighs> Thank God. Definitely on the edge and the game has definitely picked its pace up. So Manu could be in the cargo hold and I have a feeling the ship wants them to stay in the ship itself almost like the ship is alive it's like a combination of aliens and event horizon it's intriguing where it's going and it almost feels like more psychological rather than physical but Definitely did die, so who knows what's going on here. The game has definitely upped the ante. There's still a little bit of mystery remaining. The crew is missing, we do not know where they are. They're definitely not outside the ship. And who or these weird sightings and visions and apparitions which we are seeing are they the previous crew or there's something more to it they're trying to find out the parts of the ship so that may give us some clues on what exactly is happening but now this entire area seems dangerous and I think so running would be the only good idea The added sense of dread has completely made me lost my bearings. I am totally lost now. I don't know where and how I'm going to proceed.
I am walking aimlessly now. I'm not sure what I missed. Since I need to retrace my steps here. I'm just checking if I missed something. Try a random number, who you knows this may open. Oh, come on, man. This is what happens when you are on the edge and in a hurry to escape and miss a very simple right in front of your eye key card. The ship is all but dead and now Rico is missing and I'm really not sure where the crew of this ship has disappeared to. This is getting very interesting with little or no answers. It's me all the time. This this vocalization, this sound design is so brilliant. I think so. It's not the vision. It's the sound and this music attached to it is just too good.
So we finally have some information about the ship's past. The ship belongs to twins. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Basically, they are theocratic by nature, believe in social segregation based on genetics. And that is how they define their worth in society. This ideology meant that Thenons believed in slavery, which also meant the social order decided whether you are a slave or perhaps the ruler. And I'm assuming the slaves had to bear a lot of unjust practices. Well, this ship turns out to be a slave ship where these slaves were kept in the cargo bay for international space trade and profit. After the Thoyan's government was dismantled, the ship was sold a few times and finally getting in hands of its current owners. Apparently, there was an incident that was so horrific that there is no record of it. But I'm pretty sure we'll find out later in the story what that incident was really. This certainly is moving towards a horror story, more like ghosts and apparitions. It's an interesting take. I wonder if that is what happens and what is this incident which made this ship almost like come to life. Oh hell no. Time to run again. Run boy, run, run, run. Damn that sound scares me. My, my hair on the back of my neck are all standing up right now. All goose ones over the body here. Run, run, run. Open the door, open the door. Come on. Phew. That was fun. <laughs> What's that? Another sighting or some crew member? I'm not sure I should be approaching it. I don't think I will approach him. I will check the area, but I will not check him. Why isn't he attacking me? Oh hell no! Run, 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 man, run! That sound definitely triggers my panic buttons.
So finally we get to know what the incident was all about. An unsuccessful revolt which resulted in the really gruesome deaths of all these slaves. And people with power flexed their muscle and swept the entire incident under the carpet. I think so. This particular phenomena is something like a residual haunting, wherein the incident was so gruesome that it left an impact on the place, and the souls of these poor people were forever attached to the walls, and they keep on revolting and they keep on haunting anyone who comes upon this ship. Finally, the bridge. Oh, wait, wait, no, no. I am not going to the car bowl. Nah, that's not happening. Oh my god, I think so. I have to go down there. Nah. No. Oh, come on, man. Oh, hold on to your horses. It's time for one epic ending. Run, boy, run. Oh, the cargo hold is inviting me here. This ship is definitely haunted.
the writing is pretty good especially this I'm assuming the final uh, message apparently the crew has slipped into the nether world but it's a very interesting concept of to death we all look the same whether we are playing for the prices of the past or perhaps the mistakes we're gonna make for the future Here we go. Run, boy, run. Damn. That gets me every time. What was that, man? Here we go, the final rush. Go, 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 come on. Can't you run faster? Come on, go, go. Left or straight? Left or straight? Okay, I'll go straight. No, I'll have to go back left, left. Oh, no. oh come on, man. Why was I not allowed to go to the nether world? I did die, right? These ghosts did catch me. Yeah, that would have been an interesting pivot to the game if I would have been allowed to go to the nether world. And that way the game would have ended. But let's see, another try. on the scene soon. I just saw the messages you obtained from the ship's networks. I've sent them over to the labs. None of it makes sense for now, but it should help us bring closure to this investigation. Well done. I really enjoyed playing the game. It was totally far out. Two things that stood out 
were the story concept of haunted ship and the sound design and engineering. Additionally, I think there's a lot more to explore in this universe and I can see a lot more that could happen. Did the ship really get destroyed? Where is the crew? The game was developed with love and care and it showed in the ship design, the atmosphere. Overall, it was a amazing game. I loved it. Until next time, this is Fragger B signing out.